Hey everybody, call me Felix. And previously on the show, Warren's ambitious first attempt to make a rarely made Filipino duck blood soup called Sinu C1 was successful. And it took him over five hours to dispatch and dress a fresh duck and simmer it with the ideal combination of flavors. The result was a rich, earthy duck soup with a good deal of zing from the vinegar and sealing labuyo. If you want to check out the original recipe video, feel free to click away on the link on the right hand corner. As for this video, this is the extra scenes compilation of Warren's Duck Sinu C1 of the footage that didn't make the original cut, specifically Cousin JP roasting a duck with Chinese Thai seasonings on a last minute basis. Since there were two ducks at our disposal, and thinking that Warren's soup wouldn't be enough food, we roasted a duck with the best possible ingredients available to us. So I suppose the subtitle to this Duck Sinu C1 extra scenes compilation is how I learned to stop worrying and roast a marinated duck in 30 minutes of marinating time. Oh, and an added bonus, for those of you who got bloody noses when watching my videos with the side effect as a compulsion to downvote my videos without reading the fine print that this blog is run by a 21st century Filipino-American schizoid man, Warren explains in Tagalog as best as he can how he takes away the gaminess of the duck with guava leaves. So, none of you can complain that approximately 20% of this video has taglish in it. Love it or leave it, here's the Ducks You Scene 1 Extra Scenes Compilation. Okay, one of the two ducks we're making into a roast duck, and JP's gonna be the main chef on this one. The so what roast do... duck master. Okay, so what I have here is I have uh, one fourth cup of oyster sauce, because we don't have hoisin. Yeah. Um, I have a two, one fourth cup of light soy sauce mm -hmm. and one half cup of dark soy sauce. Ooh. Uh, fresh, uh, five fresh cloves of garlic. Yes. Um, there. With a uh, pestle and mortar. Yeah. And then also just a, a nub of uh, fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. And then I used four uh, fresh lemongrass. Tanglad. Yes. In our language, right? And yeah. then some sesame oil. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna add into there. And that is and some fresh black pepper. Sweet. So. And by the way, I wanna say that this was like on short notice, so we yeah. only decided to roast a duck on short notice and we couldn't get, you know, hoisin sauce. So I yeah. think we're making the best we can here yeah, on short notice. Good. This looks really good. Yep. To dress that duck. And so down here, if you'd allow me, the boys are making or they're preparing the siu siu or our duck soup. <laughs> we're, we're doing surgery here. Surgery? Yeah. My gosh, it's so bloody down there. This is too tough for me. Okay, so what are you gonna are you gonna include the duck feet in the soup there, chef, or no? No. Why not? There's good there's, there's good meat in the soup. Who wants to eat that feet? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Pe people like putting duck feet. Dig name it, Warren! <laughs> I thought you said nothing goes to waste, aye. So I wonder who's gonna get, who's gonna have their dish out faster. JP's duck or Warren Siu Siu. I don't really have much faith in Warren right now as far as him like picking up the pace. But we'll see. It's pretty huge. It's a pretty huge duck. Yeah. So. Not bad for like 250 pesos? Yeah. Five dollar duck. Five dollar duck. Maybe about two kilos. Yes, about two kilos. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the skin from the meat and then kind of just work that marinade inside. Oh, okay. How long are you marinating this for anyway? Well, 30 minutes maybe. 30 minutes? Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be overnight, but you know. We're well, hungry. We're, we're, we're in an emergency and we're hungry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna finish faster, Warren or JP? Let's That's see. the only question that remains. It's a... But of course what matters most is the taste. Yeah, the taste. Gonna be good. I'm working my fingers, getting the skin out of my way. Mm -hmm. Skin versus the meat. That way I can get that marinade working inside. Yeah. So we've had to and do a little sauce. short, some shortcuts here. So we did double up the five spice because. Um, yeah, we don't have. Um, star anise. Star anise, yeah. <laughs> it's drowning duck in the sauce. Since we don't have a lot of time, I gotta force. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta force the. Marinate in there. It's not a drunken duck anymore. Yeah. It's a drowning, drowning duck. It's a drowning duck. duck. It's a drowned duck. 
So, Chef Warren, what is this? This this cauldron has been going for 30 minutes and you're wilting leaves. What is this, Warren? This That's for the duck, you know. Just yeah. put the meat on that. It doesn't uh, really smell like anything. But what's in here? Uh, it's only... Laurel, really massive laurel? Yeah. No, that's laurel. That's um, bayabas leaves. What's bayabas leaves? What's bayabas leaves? What's bayabas Ah, guava leaves. Oh, these yeah. are guava leaves. Yeah, and gold water. And what do the guava leaves? What kind of flavor do they put into the duck? Um, this guava leaves. No, so just uh, that um, to remove the chocolate of that. The, what? It doesn't really add flavor. The gaminess of the. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, it takes mm. away the gaminess. That's, that's, uh, oh, so it doesn't really t add flavor. It just takes away the gamey. Oh, okay. Big damn it, Warren, Miss Chef, you couldn't have described it any better, huh? With the help of JP. Because it's English, you know? It's, it's Tagalog. I know. Well, okay, in Tagalog, what is okay. it called? Mm. What would it be called? So, una sa lahat. First things first. Mm -hmm. First of first. <laughs> yes. You know? What? Um, you got a bunch of salt in your hands. <laughs> Why? Go ahead and say I'll translate three words. This salt. Una sa lahat. Una sa lahat. First of all. Um. <laughs> Yung um, pato. The duck. Yes. Um, cut. Um, uh, I mean. Uh, I mean. <laughs> um, cut um, into small pieces. Cut into small pieces. Why? Yeah. Yeah. And, and. At. At ilagay yeah. dito. And you put. Yes. Mm -hmm, para. So that. Yeah. Wala yung amoy nung malansa. So ah. that the smell and the taste of the gaminess is gone. Yeah. Okay. Pero yung lasa nitong guava leaves. But the taste of these guava leaves. Hindi mo makukuha. You're not gonna get it. Sa pato. Ah. Yung tutong lasa niya is labas dun sa blood. And... The real taste removes the blood taste? No. The irony taste from the blood. Ah. Ah. We're learning every day. And... Ang tagal. Kasi... Yung so pato, maraming buhok. Has a lot of yeah, feathers. it's a lot of feathers. Uh, Tapos maliliit pa. And they're so small. And they're small. Tapos, and then, the worst part, the worst part, <laughs> is, is, hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin yung pato. Don't you don't know what to do with that? Why? No, I'm just kidding. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chef Cocky Warren with the head with his bitchin' hair. He that his confidence is go is melting away. Why Warren is the confidence melting away? Okay, he doesn't know why he's doing things anymore. So that's not a good sign, everybody. Come take a look at my uh, marination here. Oh yay! Dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. So JP with a lot more confidence because he's probably done this uh, several times with this roasted duck. It's marinating and it smells wonderful. So I'm going to take go. 15 minutes of this. Yes. Right? And then I'm going to flip it over for another 15 minutes and then let's roast it. Ooh, oh, I can wait. And how long does it take over how about the temperature? 375 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. So let's see if it works. Wow, very precise. I love it. Unlike Mr. Warren here. His inexperience is showing right now. Yeah. Sorry. It's not really aromatic yet. But meanwhile, JP has meanwhile, his duck back ready. Back at the ranch. Back at the ranch. Yeehaw! Uh, so this is a 30-minute marinade, right? Yes, 30. I'm taking it out of the sauce, right? Out of the marinade. I'm putting mm -hmm. it into just a dry pan. Heat it up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius. Yes. Stick this in there for an hour. Let's see what turns out. After an hour, I, I'm going to hype up the heat. Oh, okay. So that will give us our crispy skin. Yes. For 20 minutes. Ooh. So, let the bird sit and enjoy itself. All right. Set it and forget it, Ron Poopiel. <laughs> Meanwhile, this marinade, I won't let it go to waste. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simmer it. Reduce into gravy. Yep, and that's the way sauce for the rice and the and the duck. So. Yeah, there we Hopefully. go. Hopefully Sounds we'll good, everybody. It. We've got ourselves a duck plan and the duck soup. <laughs> oh my god! What? The inner side is gone. 
What's either side is gone? What does that mean? I mean the intestine and the liver shit. What? Did the docs eat them? No, sir. The dogs. Oh. Hold on. The dogs ate the organs? Yeah. Including the liver? Including the liver and the heart? What the? You guys. Wait, wait, wait. You mean to say that the liver is gone too? Uh, no, they're they trying to kill it. What, it's all gone, Warren? No. The organs? They, they, they're trying to steal it, so... Oh, they were trying to steal it. Yeah. Hmm. That dog. Oh. Who's the dog? Uh, who's the owner of the dog? Um, those will be <laughs> JP's dogs. Back in a bit, guys. I want Warren to start cooking. Cooking his soup. You're well behind JP right now. Okay, all that time omegling, and this is... What's the status on our dog? <laughs> We got 15 minutes more. We got a yeah. crispy skin. Yeah. It's not bad, but that just looks delicious. So we're going to um, increase the temperature next, right? Yeah, we're going to increase the temperature too. Actually, you know what? I want to baste it one more time. Yeah, do that. It looks a little bit... Looks like it needs more sauce. Just a little more. Yeah, boy. Yeah! Mmm. Does that not look delicious? Mm -hmm. Let's get a nice crisp skin on that. Hi. Uh, right now. We just cut. What do you think? Looks good, right? <laughs> Has lemongrass, soy sauce, sesame oil, yeah, garlic, ginger. It's a pretty decent duck, so let me pick it up. It's an emergency duck, too. It's an emergency duck. Delicious. <laughs> Ooh la la! Show him what you're cooking, Warren! <laughs> and this is my special recipe, you know. This is a duck soup, okay? This is it. Make sure you get smoke in your eyes. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Ooh la la. Ooh, la, la. Look at turn to this. Hey, this is on Ooh, la, la. And then turn it over. Turn it over. And then he wants a little bit of the breast. So give him a little yeah. bit of the breast. Yeah. Mm hmm Spark. Yes. Snowball. I can't give you anything yet. There's meat. It's the knife. This knife is totally sharp. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, go. Yeah, okay. Nice cleaving there. Wow. Okay, so that's a good color. Usually people like it a lot pink, but I think this is perfect. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have to use a lot of sauce on here. La la. Ooh, la la. This is the closest thing you'll get to like French cuisine. I put French cuisine here in the province. Oh, that looks delicious, actually. Wish I had some. What? I what? wish I had some roasted potatoes that like boiled oh, in that I duck know. fat. Ah, oh, rendered in duck fat. Yes, duck fat fries would go good with this too. Should I pour Ooh, some? Oh no no. Yes, what? please. Go ahead. Wow, you like the soup that much? Okay. It's good soup. So this is very um, salty. This sauce. So I just want to tell you in advance. It looks like it needs a little more moisture. That's why. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do, um, can you get him another knife, please? Okay. okay. Uh, snowball, you're making it uncomfortable. Snowball, out! Out! No, sorry. <sighs> Later, we'll give you. Hey, nice, Snowball. Okay, duck breast time, because, you know, that's like the hallmark of a good duck, is the breast. This looks darker, actually. So this might be part of the leg. This is like the dullest knife ever. Okay, so have a Yeah, it's really dull knife. That's it, guys. Let's see how that works. Here. Okay. With lots of sauce. Ooh. 
<laughs> you put Ooh, an extra yum, fresh chili in there too? Yeah. Wow. So this kind of tastes like Ginuguan light for me. I'm, I'm scared that it might be too salty. You might have to put some rice. Hmm? You want to try it without rice? Um, I'll try it without rice. Uh, I don't know if it's too salty. Okay. You think it's too salty? I don't know. Try okay, it. part of the skin with the duck, the duck breast. It looks kind of like um, a duck. duck. <laughs> it's like a duck meat. Hey, I'm starving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's a long day. Delicious. Go. Okay, now it's off. Yeah. Better than red eight. Oh. Oh, better red eight. I Let's didn't say see. that yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't find it salty. Oh. With that sauce. Hmm. It tastes better than it looks, actually. Really? Because it looks good to me. But really? There is that part that I find a little bit like discolored. Okay. Just a little bit. But yeah, it's not bad. Um, Especially, you know, we this is a short notice duck. So then, you know, so that marinade doesn't go yeah. through. But the lemongrass definitely shines through. Really? A bit Love with that, that uh, five spice. Mm, let me see. Do you feel the uh, uh, sesame oil? Do you feel... The cucumber and the... Mm, more of the five spice for me. Ooh, okay, good. Yeah, I had to add extra of that. But... Yeah, that's Did it work? Did it work? Mm, I'm getting more of that. There's a little bit... Yeah. A bit of the lemongrass in there. I think you could use with some um, a little bit more marinating, but it's good. I mean, the quality of the, the meat... Yeah. The time. quality of the meat is really good. It doesn't taste... You know, like the texture is good. So yeah, the texture is good. There's, it's not gummy. It's juicy. Hmm. Like that dark meat kind of is like dark meat. Or the, or the white meat is like dark meat. I think with the limitation of the range, that's why we couldn't really get like a really crispy skim. And so, hmm. Decent, right? It's pretty decent, right? It's pretty decent. I mean, the dark meat you kind of have to chew through, which you don't mind. I think it's. I think it's juicy. I think that's the dark meat makes it juicy. Mm -hmm. The texture of the meat is good. I think that's the more important thing. Yeah. So we couldn't really get a we couldn't really get a crispy skin. And if you had a crispier skin, and you had a little more of that fat retention, perhaps it's like easier to kind of chew. Yeah. But then, other than that, like the meat texture is good. And then you get a lot of the five spice, of course. It's packed with the five spice. Which is There's a bit of lemongrass great, right? that cuts in. Yeah. How's the saltiness of it? For me, I don't find it that salty. Really? Good. I love it. Yeah, and in fact, I wouldn't mind putting more duck jus on there. Yeah. Because we gotta add a little more moisture. But yeah, the freshness of the duck really comes out too. And of course, Warren gave me more of the duck soup. I think it's pretty good. Ooh, I think this is a liver. Or a hunt. Yeah, some of the organ, I think. Yeah, for me this is like duck to new guan soup. It doesn't oh, sound okay. it doesn't sound pleasant, just like the sound of it, but duck to new guan. Yeah, it's good. And that about wraps it up for our Duck Sinu C1 Extra Scenes compilation. I'm hoping if we're resuming more of these cooking videos, we'll get to present more refined and ambitious duck recipes. I think that Duck Sinu C1 would be a hit with port wine and brandy to enhance more earthy sweetness. Come to think of it, a deconstructed pressed duck soup with Southeast Asian seasonings and a side of souffle potatoes, la tour d'argent style, sounds promising. As for Cousin JP's roast duck, I'm thinking we can do a homemade Peking duck. So stay tuned, watch this space, and best yet, subscribe for more of our food and travel adventures and receive notifications on our next videos by hitting that bell icon. Like, share, and comment to your heart's content. Until next time, keep cool but care, and remember, the empire never ended.